for another hand clap of praise. Let's give the apostle a hand clap of praise. And another hand clap of praise for that wonderful, wonderful word. Yes. We're going to stand on this word. We're going to stand on Torah. And we're going to live it. We're going to find ourselves line by line and precept upon precept. If it was our intent to make it into the kingdom of Yahuwah. Now, we don't have no intent to make it into the kingdom. You can go to live this life any kind of way that you so desire that Yahuwah will allow you to live it. And you find yourself in that burning hell. Don't look up with surprise. Because we will end up in that burning hell for being disobedient to Torah, not obeying. And it the seven days you back, and every word that comes out of his mouth. Yes. You may be seated. Thank you. We're going to uh, Ms. Macabrean, Rayon, number 10. She'll be on page, I think, 14, 17. Four. 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 1474, yeah. Page 1474. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Hood. You Hood, we come before you to say thank you. Thank you for the words that we've heard thus far. Thank you for your love, your mercy, and your grace. We ask you that you give us a heart and mind be completely obedient to all your Torah, all your words, and all your truth. Help us, Yehud, to live a Kadash life, not turning to the left nor turning to the right, but that we be obedient to the yours. As you may say unto us, well done, my true and faithful servant. But let us not hear in our ears, speaking to us, depart from me, you workers of iniquities. Don't let us be workers of iniquities, Yehud. But find, help us to find ourselves obeying every word that comes from you. Help us, you Lord. And help us to stand strong. Help us not to lose faith. Or oh, even in the times of torment, help us to stand strong. Don't let us fall faint. Help us stand on your word, you Lord. Help us. We cry out to you right now. Right now we're asking you to help us to decrease and you to increase in us that we might obey every word that comes out of your mouth. Help us, you Lord. And we say that we love you. We say that we love you, that we will obey all your commands, all your Torah, and be a pleasing vessel unto you. Help us, you Lord. We thank you for the apostles, the shepherds of this house, we thank you for this assembly. We thank you for her. We ask that you continue to fill her with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and that you touch her from the crown of her head to the very soul of her feet, that you heal her, that you heal her body, and strengthen in her. You. We thank you for the elect mother. We ask you that you strengthen her, continue to heal her, and show her things that you want her to see and to know. Help her to be a mother unto your children. Help her to be that mother that you call her to be. Teach her how to be that mother that you want her to be. And help her. In the Kadash name of Shua Hamasin. We ask you to save Addie, deliver her. We ask you to save and deliver our children. Those that are not saved, we pray for them that they might become saved, might become little, might hear your word, that their hearts might be pricked by the, your words and by your truth. And they'll turn away from the witness of their ways. We thank you, and we give you the praise, and we glorify your name. In the Kadash name of Yeshua Hamza, we thank you for the Shabbat. And we thank you, and we ask you to help us obey all your commandments and all your statutes. In the Kadash name of Yeshua HaMashiach, we do say, Amen, Amen. Shabbat, 
thank you, Hood, again for the word, for the truth. Amen. As I was saying earlier, uh, last night we were teaching on number nine, Maccabeum, I am nine, and we found that the second son had been tormented. He was being tormented. And he was standing on that he was gonna stand on the word, even though being tormented in words and in the truth. That he stood. Hallelujah. That he was not gonna be what disobedient to Torah. Hallelujah. The first son mm -hmm. was tormented. Yes. Tortured. Horrendously. They said that even they put him on the fire, and that the drippings of his flesh covered the wheel. Amen. Yes. We gotta understand that the tormentors are going to go up there and put as much torment upon the people of Elohim as they possibly can think of. They're not going to have any mercy unless you do what they say. And we as children of Elohim got to remember that we must stand on His word and on His truth no matter what they do to us. And we better start asking you who to help us to stand. I was thinking about pain and torment sometimes, you know, and this morning, and me, I have to sometimes check the sugar levels in my blood, and it caused me to prick my finger. And I, sometimes I like to hesitate before I even prick my finger. Amen. Yes, sir. It hurts. So I know I'm expecting a little pain to come in. It's not that much of a pain and it doesn't last that long. No. But still, I don't want it. Amen. I don't want to do it. Amen. Come on. I can just imagine uh, if I get weak on something like that. What could happen? Ooh. Oh, yeah. You tell me. Sentiment. On something great. Oh, yes. On worship torment. Mm -hmm. Jumping onto the fire. Or my body being twisted. Every bone dismembered, dismembered dislocated. And body being twisted and the skin pulled off my face. And still being able to stand and say, I'll stand on tour. Oh, have mercy. Help me. Help me. And I cry out to. Yahushua and ask him, you got to help me. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. I'm crying now that he give me the power and the strength to stand strong. Yes, whatever happens. No matter what's going on to me. I mean, and I yeah. stand on his word. Because see, while nothing is happening to us right now, it's easy for us to go up there and say, I oh, I can do it, I can do it, I can uh -huh. do it. Uh-uh. No, no. But I don't trust Norman. Hallelujah. Come on, Jesus. Come on. I don't trust me. I trust myself. Yeah. I trust your worship. I trust you. I trust you. Hallelujah. But I don't trust Norman. Hallelujah. I trust him. 
And I come, I know that we must start asking him to help us. Now. Now. Yes, sir. Now a lot of people go up there and say, oh, I'm strong, I'll stand, I'll stand, I'll you stand. Know that. But I remember Kiefer saying, I'll stand with you, you who. He said, I'll stand with you, who should. I'll even die for you, you who should. You know what you're saying? I'm out here. See, easy thing to say. Yes, it is. Until we come to that situation. Come on, come on, help me. Until we come to that time. Help me to stand in whatever I got going on. But we got to remember, and today's subject is. The tormentors cannot touch our soul. Hallelujah! That's true. That's true. The tormentors cannot touch our soul. And we got to remember that. The one that we got to fear is one that can destroy both soul and body. Yes. The tormentors can't do that. You see, and we're going to start here at 10 and 1. And he's talking about the second son here, he starts off. Now this one, having endured this praiseworthy death, the third was brought along and exhorted by many to taste and save his life. See, look what they were telling him, look what he's done to your brother. Look what he's done to your brother, your first brother, your second brother. And look what he did to your legs. He'll do the same to you. Now save your life, save your soul. That's what they were telling him. Save yourself. Just taste of this piece of pork. This wine meat. Just taste it. That's all you gotta do. You can save your life. You see, I keep on trying to let us understand that the tormentors are gonna come to us and they're gonna wanna to do whatever evil, whatever wicked that pleases them in order to save our life. Whatever goes against Torah. We're going to have a well-made up mind, people. Amen. We're going to understand whom we serve and why we serve him. And we better get it in our mind now that we got to serve him with all our heart, all our mind, no matter what's going on. We got to serve him. Amen. And see, if you're not in a habit of serving him now, when that time comes, you'll easily give in. Man. He says, number two, but he cried out and said, Know ye not that the father of those who are dead begot me also? And he's my father, in other words. And that the same mother bore me. And that I was brought up in the same tenets. That's what he was saying, I was brought up. Knowing Torah, understanding Torah, loving Yahuwah, obeying the word and obeying the truth. I'm no different than my brothers. I'm no different than my fathers. I'm no different than my mother. They obeyed, I got to obey. Hallelujah. They feel strong, I got to stand strong too. Yes! He already was already obeying, but he was already doing, he was already living the word. Come on, stand strong. See, you got these weak minded people now that don't want to do anything for your hood. Don't want to live the word. They get up there in the pulpits, they're up there in the choirs. They want to go up there, they want to sing a bunch of Zion songs. They want to go up there and go get, they're already breaking Torah. 
Amen. You don't keep the Shabbat, you not keep the Torah. Amen. Amen. When you don't want to walk in the Word, you don't want to walk in the truth, you, you already broke it. When you want to fornicate, lie, steal, and cheat, you already broke Torah. Amen. You're not keeping Torah. You're not a Torah keeper. Amen. Come on. The, the, the devil already got you. Amen. So you're going to fall. You're going to fall. Because the devil already got you. Because you don't want to give up. You don't want to obey. You one of them. You're walking with the tormentors. Amen. You are the evil one. Amen. He says, number three, I adjure not the noble relationship of my brother. Now then, Whatsoever instruments of vengeance you have, apply it to my body. For you are not able to touch, even if you wish, it, my soul. Hallelujah. See, he understood, Tori. He knew that he couldn't touch his soul. And you torment me, you cause his body pain. But it's all right. You can't touch my soul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. See, we're talking about men of faith. We're talking about the veils, warriors. Yes, what it truly means to be a warrior of Ella Hill. See, a lot of people like to sing that song, I'm a soldier, I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord, I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. But to truly, to be a soldier in the army of Elohim, you got to stand. On Torah, come on here. You got to stand on Torah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, man. Amen. You can't just talk to talk, you got to walk to walk. Yeah, like, come on here. This is a life that what must be lived. Must be lived. Yes. The daily walk. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, well, okay then. Well, I'm not going to be saved until Shabbat. I'm not going to be Kadash until Shabbat. When Shabbat comes, I'm going to be Kadash. No, no. If you wouldn't Kadash the rest of the week, you're not going to be Kadash on Shabbat. So you have a lying demon in you. That's what it is, Chicken This is seven days a week. Yes, that we sir. must keep ourselves productive. Yes. Seven days a week we gotta keep ourselves productive. Every moment and every second. He said, how can you do that? Only who should you keep me? I can't even keep myself. No, sir. You who should have to keep me? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I have to, that means I have to turn my body, my mind, and my soul over to you who should, and I got to trust him. Yes. And I got to allow him to take over. He's got to have control. Hallelujah. Because if I don't let him have control, I'll be a liar. Amen. I'll be a thief. Amen. I'll be a fornicator. I'll be an adulterer. Amen. I'll be a homosexual. Amen. I'll be a demon. Amen. I'll be a walker in all sorts of wickedness. I'll be all those things. Amen. That's why he says that we must allow him to come in and dwell in us. Yes. And we must dwell in him. Yeah. We must live in him. Yes. Hallelujah. He's got to take over. Yes. Hallelujah. When we be talking about having a Hakadosh takeover, 
Hallelujah. We're talking about okay, hey, he's got to take over. Hallelujah. We got to totally surrender unto him. But I tell you, this world will come with you and attack you with everything it has. Yes, it will. Yes. And now, even now, in the green season, yes. it wants to attack. Yes, sir. And it is attacking. Yes. How much more so in the dry season? My, 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 my. Mm. We always see that there is no love in this world. That the love of many has truly waxed cold. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There is no love out there. Hallelujah. You can shake it and fake it all you want to. Right you can run around the assembly all that you want to. Right there. But it's not there. Hallelujah. The only to who? Number five. But they, highly incensed at his boldness of speech, dislocated his hands and feet with wrecking engines. Yeah, I don't know if you ever seen them on TV, but they get the, you know how sometimes they used to they show the Indians would go up there and tie a rope to a one's feet, they'd be on the horses or something like that, on horses, and just into the hands, and they'll go up there and send them off at one time, and they'll pull the body apart. But they, they, they had devised some machines that had a wheel, not the engines, but it had a wheel, and they they get men, they would turn this wheel around, they would tie chains or ropes to a person's foot and to his hands. Uh -huh. And they would pull it, they would put, and, and the more they pulled it, the more they would stretch out the body and it would stretch out the hands and it would dislocate the hands or as much of the body as they wanted to. Uh -huh. And this is what they did to this son to his brother. They dislocated his hands and his feet. That's what a racket engine is. And wrenching them from their sockets. Can you imagine that? Have you ever had a dislocated shoulder or dislocated finger or anything like that that you know there's great pain in that? Dismembering him. And they dragged around they dragged around his fingers and his arms and his legs and his ankles. And not being able by any means to strangle him, they tore off his skin. Together with the extreme tips of his fingers, flayed him. And then held him to the wheel. They carried him to the wheel, put him on that wheel. They tied him to the wheel. Around which his vertical joints were loosened. His vertical joints, you know, all his backbones were loosened. But they were being pulled apart. And you gotta understand, you know, that you said this is in the word, that this is in the this is in Torah. Yes, it is. How cruel and how wicked and how evil the minds of the people were back then. And worse than that. And they had simple instruments to torment. To cause such things. 
to get today's society. Look at the hardness of a people today. Cold. Cold. Where people can kill somebody and stuff them in the freezer and stay there? Cold. Open. Cold. No thought, no mind. Cold. Saying that they're preachers. Cold. I ain't go about raping children and saying that it's all right. And the parents allowing them, their children to be raped, knowing that the pastors and their preachers and the apostles are rapists, and saying that it's all right. No, sir. Saying that they're Say, saying that they're delivered, saying that they're children of Elohim. Not so. Not so. Not Demons! That's what it is. And demonic people. <laughs> In a green season. Have no thought, no care, no pity, what they do, one to another. Uh, they try to devise more ways to kill a people, to kill a person. Mm -hmm. I know that they we wanted to try a new method the other day, then they, they, they wouldn't try, they did try a new method the other day. Mm -hmm. Of killing a man. Mm -hmm. And it was way they described that man suffered during that death. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. You're ruling not things. And people are saying, well, that's all right, he deserved to die for what he did. Yeah. And I know that scripture say that stoning was all right, but it was an instant death most of the time. It was an instant death. But people will think of a way to torture, to cause more pain. And they're gonna want you to what? To come to their desire. Now if you don't get firmly rooted, if we don't get firmly rooted, not you, because we all want to get firmly rooted in this That's world. Right. Me. Myself. And in this truth. You end up selling out. You end up selling out. You won't be able to stand. Cause you got to understand. We got to understand how important Torah is. Yes, sir. How important Elohim is. Yes. We got to understand that He's not going to forsake us. Hallelujah. Now, I also pray that you don't have to go through this. Amen. Yes, but if I can go through this. I pray, I pray. I tell you, I pray, I don't want to go through this. So I shouldn't. But nevertheless, we're in an hour, we're in a time that the end can come at any moment. We in the end time. And this thing come upon the children at any time. Yes. And I don't want to be getting ready. We need to be be ready. Hallelujah. Now you keep on thinking that everything's gonna be peaches and cream because you saved and 
You is going to be in for a rude awakening. Amen. I'm sure. There's a price to pay for salvation. Yes, it is. Yes. That is one of the reasons why you, know, you get to think about you who are getting on that torture stick. Now, he knew he had to die so that we might have salvation, that we might be saved, that we might be delivered. He could have chose an easier way to die. Amen. He would have said, hey, well, I just choose to die in my sleep and then I and then I'll cover it. Uh-huh. Or somebody just you know, could have chosen a real quick death. But he suffered. You know, they could have said, well, I'll just take a, a stab and somebody just take the sword and stab me in my heart and that would have been it. But he suffered. But he got upon that torture state. To let you know. Thank you. To let us know. That, hey, this is the way I have to go. Yes, I, suffer. I suffer. Yes. And you're going to have to suffer. Hallelujah. Too. You're going to have to suffer. Yes, sir. Yeah. And I'm coming back to let you know that, hey, I came through. Here I am. Here are the holes in my hands and in my feet to prove. Here's the hole in my side to prove that I went through Yay. for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, I thank you. And so we're going to have to learn how to count it as all joy that we can be tortured too. Be tormented. Knowing that our Savior went through first for us. To show us the way. To encourage us. To stand strong. We also need to remember that He could have came down off that torture stick any time he wanted to. Yes, he could. But nevertheless, he took it to the what? To the end. Hallelujah. And we're going to have to do what? Like mindedness. Take it to the end. Take it to the end. He says, number eight. around which his vertical joints were loosened, and he saw his own flesh torn to shreds, and streams of blood flowing from his entrails. He saw his own guts hanging out. His flesh torn to shreds. He saw this himself. And when about to die, he said, We, O oh, accursed tyrant, suffer this for the sake of divine education and virtue. But you, for your impiety and bloodshedding, will endure indissoluble torment. Your torment is going to be forever and ever. Uh -huh. He said, we're going to suffer for a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm for divine purpose. I'm for standing on the word of Torah. Hallelujah. For trusting in the hood. And for trusting in the hood. But you. But you. You're going to suffer. And all those. 
that are not saved and that are not delivered, they're going to suffer too. Hallelujah. And they're going to suffer forever. All the wicked, all those that want to walk in evil, they're going to suffer forever. Number 12, he says, And thus having died worthily of his brethren, they dragged forward the four, saying, Do not share the madness of your brethren, but give regard to the king and save yourself. And see that's what they're going to be doing. They're going to be taking family members and saying, Hey, save yourself. You see how your family members suffer? You see how the other Kardashians uh, suffer? See how they died? See the pain? See how their bodies were thrown, uh, torn apart? You don't have to go through this. Just do like we ask you to do. Just be old, disobedient to Torah. Just disobey Torah. Yep. And you can live. But see, you gotta understand, if you disobey the word, you might get by for a couple of days, you might get by for a couple of years, but you're gonna have to die. And then you're gonna suffer that torment forever, being tormented forever, because you turned your back on Torah, because you turned your back on your hood. Because you turned your back on your hoosh. You shall suffer that that you didn't want to suffer for a long, long, long time. He says, number 14, but he said to them, you have not a fire so scorching as to make me Play the coward. By the Baruch death of my brother and the eternal punishment of the tyrant and the glorious life of the pious, I will not repudiate the noble brotherhood. Amen. I'm not going to go against the brotherhood. Amen. I'm not going against the Kadash and the saints. Hallelujah. I'm not going against the word. Yeah. I'm not going against those that the believers. I'm gonna stand. I'm yeah. not. I'm not gonna be a coward. Yeah. Yeah. So you gotta understand that standing on this tour, it means something. It's not about coming to church and seeing well, how, how pretty you look or how handsome you look or how you dress and no, no. going around singing a bunch of Zion songs and having a good time. No, no. Learning. It's about getting this word deeply rooted in us mm -hmm. so that we might understand the love that Yahushua has for us. Hallelujah. Now we understand the truth. Hallelujah. That we would live the life. Yay. They don't want us going to this blindfold. That's why, see, the, the Catholics, the, the popes, they took these words out of the Bible. The King Amen. James, this is why they took them out. But they want you understanding the full truth, the full magnitude. The sun sets Satan wanted to deceive you, think they tell you, look, as long as you uh, go up there and uh, you have a good time, say, I love Jesus, I love you, Jesus, you're going to be all right. You ain't got to go through nothing. That's how they come up there and lie and rapture. So you're going to be raptured up, you ain't have to go through nothing. Come out. That's why they go to their cult, the other lie, one of the biggest lies they ever tell them, once saved, always saved. That's a lie. Not one. You go back to the same, you, you become a sinner again. Amen. 
Hallelujah. If you don't repent and get it right with your hood, you still a sinner. That's right. That's right. I don't care who tell you what, but they'll, they'll, they'll tell you that in a minute. Once say you can go ahead on sin all you want to now, but you say That's a lie. That's a lie. That devil telling you a lie. Amen. Invent, O oh tyrant, tortures that you may learn, even through them, that I am the brother of those tormented before. So they invent more tortures yet. And you can believe me, they have. I don't know, I can't even think of what could be more horrendous than the things that they've already done here. But they have it. They have it. Amen. And they're ready to use it. They want to use it. Evil. Wicked. He says, number 17. When he has said this, the bloodthirsty and murderous and unhallowed Anarchus ordered his tongue to be cut out. But he said, even if you take away the organ of speech, yet Elohim hears the silence. That's right. In other words, he said, you cut out my tongue, but Elohim, Yahushua, Yahuwah, hears my prayer, even though silent. You don't have to have a tongue. Yeah, no matter what you do to me, he said, I'm still hearing my prayer. Hallelujah. I'm still going to stand strong. I'm still going to stand boldly. And it's good. Oh, yeah. Help me. And he says, Behold. He stuck out his tongue. He said, Behold, my tongue is extended. Cut it off. For not that shall you extirpate our reasoning. Gladly do we lose our limbs on behalf of Elohim. But Elohim shall speedily find you. Since you cut off the tongue, the instrument of divine melody, you shall be found out. What kind of mind that we got to have? See where we fall so far short. Hallelujah. That we got to become strong. Hallelujah. Woo, come on. See, so understand why we don't care what family say about, about this word or truth or anything like that. And we're going to stand on this word and we got to stand now. Yes, sir. I don't care what children say to you about me. Hallelujah. I don't care what wife say about me. Hallelujah. Come on. I don't care. I didn't care what mama said about me. Hallelujah. I still told her the truth. We still Thank tell her the truth. Yes, sir. We still told her about the word. We still tell our children about the word. Yes, sir. Got you. So we got to stand now, and if we can't stand in this green season, there's no way in the world you're going to be able to stand in the dry season. Hallelujah. And I know that we're going to say something that will help us make it to the Our prayer for us. Yes. Understand what we got to be praying for. Yes. If you don't understand why you got to be praying, yes, I, I pray you understand now that you got something you got to be praying for. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can't even go about thinking that you're ready. We got to be ready, got people. To be. Hallelujah. Good to over the hands of the prophets. Thank you, Hallelujah. Thank you, Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah to the Most High Elohim. Thank you. Praise Him for the Word. Hallelujah. I praise Elohim for the Word. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, my, 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 my. That's what I was saying. Hallelujah, amen. I just see why. Amen. That how the Catholic Church, amen, took Torah out. Amen. Took so many of the, the books out of the Torah. Out of the Word. Because they want stuff to, want us to come in this be blind. Want us to be blind. Don't want us to know everything that truly happened to the saints. Hallelujah. Amen. We knew, amen, what the what the, the apostles, I mean, what the apostles and the, the teller them went through. Hallelujah. We seen how, amen, how they went through, amen, some horrible, horrible, amen, uh, treatment, torture. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. And I just praise Yeshua for the word. Amen. The word back. Amen. Amen. No matter what nobody do to us, don't be fear of peoples, amen, that can kill this old body, but they can't do nothing to our soul. Amen. 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 When you got your hushu, people can kill this old body, but they can't touch your soul. Amen. And our soul is what we, amen, trying to get prepared, amen, to meet your hushu. Hallelujah. And I praise your hushu for the word today. I praise him, amen, how he's feeding us. Amen. Torah, how he getting us prepared. Amen. For the end time. Amen. For this day. Amen. And I thank and I praise Yahushua. Amen. This is Yashar Yashari Hamasan community. Amen. We are right here. Amen. At 4935 Highway 84 of Frisco City. If you would like, amen, to come and be with us and service. Amen. We have service every Friday evening. At 6 p.m., if it be Yahuwah will, we'll be right here at the beginning of the Shabbat Friday evening at 6 p.m. On every Saturday at 11 a.m., which is the, the seventh day Shabbat, we'll be right here. If it's Yahushua will, right here. Up on the hill, 4935, Highway 84 of Frisco City, Alabama, the zip 36445. Hallelujah. If you would like to write us, you may do so. You may write us at Yashar Yashari Hamasad Community, P.O. Box 824, on Monrovia, Alabama, the zip 36461. If you would like to email Chief Apostle Norman Ghoston, you may email him, yahushaman1 at gmail.com. Again, if you would like to email Chief Apostle Ghoston, you may email him, yahushaman1 at gmail.com. If you would like to email myself, amen, a Pastor Ghoston, you may do so. You may email me, amen, ghostonpastorcarry at gmail.com. Again, if you would like to email me, ghostonpastorcarry at gmail.com. Amen. We will, amen, get back in contact with you through email, through phone calls, or through, amen, writing. Because you can call us at Eric Corps, 251-593-3683. Give us a call. Or at 251-593-3671. Give us a call. We will get back in touch with you. We also, amen, like to, amen, announce Amen. The discount. Amen. Cast the store and the green bearer. Amen. If you want to know any information, amen, concerning this, amen, you may give us a call at area code 251-593-8336. Give us a call. Make yourself an appointment before you come. Call so we can make you an appointment before you come. Amen. Again, if you want to know more about the discount cast the store and the green bearer, Give us a call at 251-593-8336. We would like to encourage you, amen, to have some Bible study in your home, some church, some prayer time, repenting time. Hallelujah. Have it in your own home. Hallelujah. With one another, amen. I want to encourage you, amen, that can get a prayer through. Amen. Because only the righteous, amen, can get a prayer through. Anoint your children. Anoint yourself. 
before you go to school or work. Anoint yourself before you leave from home. Pray over your children. Amen. We also, amen, want to, amen, um, invite you to have prayer with us every evening at 6 p.m., every night at 9 p.m. These are some designated times. We love you all with the love of your And your hand, Mother, let clean the